welcome back to Lift of Veil Tarot. Um, just going to do a quick message. Just had the feeling of doing one. Um, no real question or intent or don't even know who this is for. But when you get told take some time to do a message, then take some time to do a message. All right. Um, so, this is literally for whoever finds this video. What does the person who finds this video need to hear? Okay. Alright, let's see what we got. free form today. Alright, so we have the handyman coming out. Whoa. The world. Handyman in the world. Feels like you're on hold. You're waiting for an ending and it just doesn't seem to be coming. And the lovers. This is a relationship that's ending maybe. Something is coming to an end. What else do we have here? Okay, I'm only going to take these three. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, or the Nine of Cups. No, it is the Ten. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so it looks, oh, and on the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Pentacles. Looks like um, somebody's got. Uh, Kind of in a holding pattern with a relationship that is no longer working. Um, possibly somebody within the relationship is not being honest. It looks from the outside, it might look like it's <laughs> a pretty happy relationship, but it's somebody in it is feeling trapped and it looks like it's coming to an end. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups coming out with the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So you may be walking away from something. Um, oh, we have the Page of Wands. So with this, uh, the Eight of Wands came out first, or the Eight of, Eight of Cups. So, you may have walked away from this situation, or you may be in the process of walking away from the situation, because uh, you you were investing a lot more than uh, than what you were receiving. Somebody was um, feels like somebody was definitely being deceitful, and uh, somewhere you you seem to have known that. Um, what's this? Knight of Pentacles. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, we got the Hierophant, the Justice card, and the Eight of Swords. Alright, this may be a situation where you felt like it was, uh, <laughs> it was just your obligation to stay. But uh, it really it wasn't helpful. What is this? Uh, what is this ten of cups? We have the nine of wands and the six of swords. Yeah, this is a relationship that felt like a burden that you've been wanting to move on from. And here we have the Tower and the Ten of Pentacles. It's become kind of a situation where almost like the person who wanted to leave, well, I don't know, I don't know. I, I was going to say the person who wanted to leave was the person who was worried about not being able to handle um, doing things on their own. 
but at the same time, I kind of also get the feeling that the person who was doing shady stuff wanted to leave, but to them, the idea of losing what they had, um, they didn't want to have to start over. Let's see. Let's see whose energy is this Ten of Swords. You get the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Okay, yeah, I, I see this as being the other person's energy. Where they're out, they're kind of feeling like they're looking for something else. They were out doing stuff they shouldn't have done. And um, they were not being honest with you. They were in a very lack mentality. So what's the hangman then? Why are, why are we in the hangman? If we know that this energy is coming to an end. We have the eight of pentacles and the ace of wands. So it looks like you're building up the confidence to move on. Because it looks, yeah, it definitely feels as though you're the one who's leaving the situation. Let's see. Let's, oh. Yeah, we've got the, the two of swords. So we're just trying to make a decision on how to, how to lead. Especially with the four of pentacles and protect what we have. Um, but then we have the death card, the two of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, the strength card. And the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, this is time to let this go. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised with um, once you let the energy go, once you let the death of this relationship go and you kind of strike out on your own to make that decision, um, things are going to change for you. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card to this um, Nine of Pentacles, which is a very independent card. Very independent card. Independent. Um, let's see. We got the Three of Wands. What's the Three of Wands? With the star and the nine of swords, you may have felt like um, like you you may have been very unhappy for quite a while and uh, been hoping for something new, but the this whole thing has been just kind of that nightmare energy of keeping you uh, bound within yourself. How are we going to get out? How long to get out? Okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So you're building up um, resources. I think you might be building up resources in order to have some stability when you decide to walk away. I'm going to change decks. How does the person that you're leaving feel about you? What's their intent? No, what's their energy? To, just their energy toward you. Okay. What is the energy you're leaving behind? What's their energy toward you? There's one in here that's backwards. I just have to find it. <laughs> Make it easier to find it. Hmm. We've got the Two of Swords reversed. So they, they've they already made their decision. And the Seven of Swords reversed. And they're tired of... They made a decision. Um, and, and now it's more of a... They're... Uh, they're just sort of sitting in the denial of 
the fact that they don't want to be there, that their that their choices, they're staying in denial of their choices. So, what is their energy towards you? Page of Swords and the Lovers in Reverse. They. <laughs> this is somebody who doesn't want to give up their comfort. They don't want to give up their comfort. Okay. And they have this all planned in their head, but they don't want to give up their comfort. Okay. We got the the world and the chariot in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse. Um, yeah. So even with the ending coming, they're unwilling to move on and face the truth. We got the seven of cups in reverse. They may even be realizing that their options have dried up. Yeah, that feels accurate because here's the Queen of Swords coming out and I think that's you. That's you going, <clears throat> we're done. We're done. And with the Nine of Swords in reverse, you're like, I, I'm not going to lose any more sleep over you. Yeah. Let's see. Then we have the Sun and we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I think... Uh, once you're done with this, the, you're going to go through some time where you're just going to be alone for a while. And I think you're okay with that. I think that you're like, I'm done with the immature energy. I'm done with the people who are um, spending their time uh, really sort of uh, putting me in situations that I don't appreciate, that I, I don't feel fulfilled. And you're tired of being with somebody who doesn't want you pretends they do. I mean, we can feel when we're loved. We can feel when we're wanted. And if this person is just holding on to you because they're waiting for something better to come along or because they're too afraid of having to start over and the consequences, especially with the Hierophant in the beginning, too afraid of the consequences of what people are going to think and to leave, you don't want that kind of energy around you. This is a... This is a um, this is a codependent energy of the person who's who you're with. They they've got this whole story in their head about what this relationship is with the the star card. They have the whole story in their head, and they think that um, they think they can just hold on to this. But you're done. You're done. Okay, well, good for you. Um, just for fun, we're gonna do some divining rods real quick. Okay, all right. Ooh, let's get them ready. Okay. Uh, does the viewer know who this person is that this other energy in the read? You do know who this is. If there's a third person involved, does the viewer know who the third person is? Nope. Does the third person suspect? Uh, wait, does the viewer suspect a third person? Does the viewer suspect a third person? I think there's too many viewers. Yep. How about this? Is this relationship... No. I don't want to do anything too definitive. Mm -mm. That's a good question. It'd be easier if I were doing this live and you guys were asking questions and I could just do yes or no. So, will the viewer find love again? Yes. There you go. Okay. Well, I don't know who this is for, anything about it, but 
Hope it helped. If it resonated, great. Leave me some sort of a comment. If not, wait till the next one. Maybe that one will. All right. Bye.